And check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking north on 13th Street North just under an hour ago. Had a few rays of sunshine there, but uh, the region is pretty cloudy overall right now. Five degrees is where we're at. That is our daytime high. We were down to minus six at 3 a.m. this morning for our overnight low. Winds are out of the south-southwest at 24 kilometers per hour. That's why we're doing pretty good as far as average temperatures go. Our minus one for this time of year for Lethbridge. So temperature-wise, everyone's doing pretty well, and we've got zero and Milk River there, but most areas are at the freezing mark or above, so that bodes well for the next few days. We'll be seeing temperatures take a little bit of a flip-flop overnight tonight and tomorrow. Now, this map indicating where the heavy snowfall watches are right now, and of course, wind warnings right across the southern half of the province, and it extends a little further north as well. So, as I said to Jackie, not a surprise. Southern Alberta, windy, go figure. We've got quite a bit of cloud cover that's moving across. That's where the snow deposit is uh, happening, of course, to the west of the continent divide as you just saw on that uh, indicator map. That's not to say that we couldn't see a little bit of that spillover overnight tonight in the form of some shower activity and we're sort of putting that in our forecast pages in the overnight hours that most areas can expect to see a little bit of shower activity. Of course the folks in the Crow's Nest Pass could see a shower flurry mixture as uh, in, in the higher elevations uh, in through the pass areas but as far as the radar shows we're not seeing any active weather here right now. We are seeing this cloud cover already starting to spill over and for forecaster wants to put some precipitation into that overnight tonight. As I said, there is a chance of seeing that precipitation in the form of some shower activity for areas across the southern region. Up north could see a little bit of a snow rain mixture in the higher elevations along the Continental Divide. And of course, uh, areas like Elk Valley in through Kootenai Lake looking at 25 centimeters, very possible uh, for snowfall overnight tonight. And strong wind warnings are already being posted up and down the BC coast and in through the uh, uh, interior. I should mention that Kelowna is seeing some heavy, heavy snowfall right now. And driving is a little uh, slick there as well because of the precipitation making its way down to the ground. So there is active weather. Most of it's to the west of us right now. Down east, they have lots of active weather. They had that uh, Colorado low move through, so they're still seeing snowfall all the way from Toronto right in through Newfoundland. But it's Newfoundland that's looking at the freezing rain warnings right now and strong winds, and that'll continue overnight tonight. Minus 8 degrees in Winnipeg right now. Cloudy skies, minus 4, minus 2 in Regina and Saskatoon. 2 degrees in Edmonton right now and a wet day in Vancouver. It looks like things will start to dry out a little bit there starting tomorrow. Up north in through the Yukon, Northwest Territories and Nunavut, uh, blizzard conditions in many areas. Right now, Whitehorse just seeing some light uh, snowfall activity and it's the same with Yellowknife right now, but there are warnings in place for parts of those areas for uh, conditions to deteriorate overnight tonight. East Kootenai, you're looking at periods of snow mixed with rain tonight, minus three degrees for a low, plus five tomorrow. Sun and cloud mix for you by the afternoon and not too windy. Crow's Nest Pass looking at partly cloudy tonight. Chance of showers mixed with flurries. Minus 2 degrees overnight low which will rise by morning windy tonight. Windy again tomorrow. 6 degrees for a high and that number will sink to minus 1 by the afternoon. Medicine Hat looking at partly cloudy tonight with a chance of flurries or showers. Minus 3 windy tomorrow. Windy as well. Mainly cloudy tomorrow. 5 degrees for a high and then settling at 0 by mid-afternoon. Lethbridge we're looking at partly cloudy skies tonight. A chance of a shower in the mix. Windy tonight, gusting uh, to 90 kilometers per hour, very possible, and then temperature rising above minus 3 before the morning hours, and then tomorrow we'll have a daytime high of 6, but this will sink down to minus 1 by mid-afternoon, but then we recover nicely, get a little more stable as we head towards the weekend. Temperatures looking pretty good. Keep in mind, minus 1 is our average temperature for this time of year.